the man of the hour. Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is a pleasure for me. I, I get the fun part here. I get to give away other people's money. And uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the, uh, the ceramic exhibition you see inside. Um, I, I just want to thank Felix. You've been so supportive. Yeah, you've been so supportive of me throughout this entire process. Other than you and my wife, Sharon, I can't, can't see how I could have gotten this done. Um, I'm really grateful to all the artists who took the chance to enter this show. And there's a lot of them that didn't make it into the show, but I'm very grateful for their participation and their attempt to get in. I really hope we'll see more bonsai pots from them. I'm also grateful for an incredible panel of jurors that we pulled together to, do, to look at the work and to uh, evaluate it and to decide what pieces would go on display. I'd just like to tell you who they were. Deborah Bedwell, are you here yet, Deborah? Deborah? Deborah is supposed to join us tonight, but it's been said Deborah will be late for her funeral. I know Deborah very well. Uh, uh, Deborah is the current president of the National Council on Education for the Ceramic Arts, one of the largest arts organizations in the United States. When Deborah throws a, a, uh, a, um, an event, 5,000 folks register for her conferences. She's a former director of the Baltimore Clay Works. Next, we had Sarah Rayner from Red Wing, Minnesota. Almost everyone here knows Sarah, probably the premier American bonsai pot maker, and a logical choice to look at all the pots. And last was Michael Hegedorn from Contagious uh, uh, Bonsai outside of Milwaukee, uh, uh, Milwaukee, Oregon, outside of Portland. Um, we know we know uh, Michael as a respected professional and a great <coughs> educator and stylist, but I'm not sure how many know that uh, Michael got his master's degree in ceramics from Alfred University, one of the uh, best uh, master's programs in ceramics in the country. Okay, just a little bit about the uh, about the competition. 355 containers were presented. Uh, by 52 artists for jurying. After two rounds of voting, the jurors selected 89 containers representing the work of 31 of those artists. So, let's get to it. I'm delighted to announce the award winners here tonight and present checks to several of the artists who made the trip to be here tonight, so that's fantastic. I also want to just thank uh, Doug Paul from the Kennett Collection who generously donated money for, uh, for six of the category awards, and to um, Michael Pollack from Bonsai Shinsei of New York for his uh, contribution of the awards for the special exhibition, the special um, uh, experimental design category. So, let's see if we have these in order, Joanne. I think we do. We're going to start with the um, accent and kusamono category. And in second place in the accent and kusamono category from Silver Spring, Maryland, uh, we have Kit Rousseau. And Kit is here tonight. <laughs> Kit, congratulations. Buy some extra play, okay? <laughs> First place in the accent and kusamono category, and, and joining us here all the way from Tempe, Arizona, that I'm impressed, is Jonathan Cross. Jonathan? I know you're here. Congratulations. Okay, now we have a cascade and semi-cascade categories. In second place, from Cleveland, Ohio, is Stephen Zebarth. I don't think Stephen is here tonight, okay? So we'll be sure he gets that. And in first place for Cascades is Jake Oxnard. And I also, from Florida, uh, Tampa, Florida, I don't think Jake has been able to make the journey. Moving on to the oval category. Oval style pots. Second place award goes to Gerald Eckhoff from Jackson, New Jersey. Gerald is here. Thank you, John. 
And first place in oval category goes to Paul Cadditch from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, I guess that brings us to the rectangle style pots. Have you all had a chance to see them all in there? They're beautiful pots. Um, second place in rectangles goes to Paul Olson from Riverside, Rhode Island. And I just met Paul. Congratulations. And first place in rectangle style containers is Zachary Dunn from Syracuse, New York. And I don't think Zachary was able to come. Into the round category, round containers. Second place goes to Paul Kadich from Jacksonville, Florida. And first place in round categories goes to Paul uh, Preston, sorry, Preston Talbot from Old Fort, North Carolina. Preston. Yeah, Preston. And that, that moves us into the show-in style uh, pots. The second place award in show-in style containers goes to Kit Rousseau, again from Silver Spring, Maryland. Now, first place in show-in style containers before it pours is, again, Jonathan Cross. First place. One last category, folks, and this was called experimental design. We were asking artists to kind of push the envelope of design in, in bonsai containers, come up with something unique and different. We have three winners in the experimental design category, and just first place happens to be uh, $1,000. Uh, we are encouraging thinking outside the box. Third place goes to William Bodenhammer. I know William isn't here because he's on the, right now he's driving to California. He told me he wished he could be here. He's from Towson, Maryland. He was from Towson, Maryland. Second place winner in experimental design is Brett Thomas from Media, Pennsylvania. And first place, the big kahuna in uh, experimental design is Jonathan Cross from Tempe, Arizona. Drinks on Jonathan. Thank you all. It's great.